This is a seven wood. Some of you may know about it, some of you may love it. Today, we're gonna find out if this should go straight in your bag. Ranging from 20 to 23 degrees in loft, the seven wood could be the secret weapon in your bag. This will be a high launching, easy to hit golf club that will probably go about 200 yards for the average golfer and over 225 yards for a PGA Tour professional. PGA Tour players such as Victor Hovland and Jordan Spieth play a seven wood and I'm gonna play the Ping G4 30 seven wood in this video at Manning's Heath. Let's see how I get on. The first hole of this challenge is a 466 yard par five. Doesn't sound intimidating, yes, but when we have a about 30 mile an hour breeze into my face, we're gonna do very well to get two seven woods onto this green. I'm going to plonk the ball down, but without a tee to really show the versatility of this club because you can hit it high, you can hit it low. And what I'm gonna try and do here is hit an extremely low stinger somewhere up there because if I hit as high as this club could be here, it's gonna go about 150 yards into this breeze. But the versatility of this seven wood means that I can do technically whatever I want with it. Sometimes that's not very good. <laughs> that could be the best shot I've ever hit with this seven wood. It cleared the tree by about, about maybe an inch, but we should have a pretty good position now to attack this green. It was a little bit low on the club face, I will be honest with you guys, but what we should see now in the second shot is a little bit higher. And we're gonna use this exact club again. Let's go find that ball. In the middle of the fairway here, we are now faced with quite a difficult shot, 220 yards, but I do think I can get there because of the versatility of this club. I've been using the pink G4 30 seven wood at 21 degrees for the last month or two. And what I was really interested by is when I took it to Gray's Golf on a GC quad, I could get 160 mile an hour ball speed, yet it still goes about 240 yards. I can push it to a bit further, 260, but it all depends on that ball flight. We've seen a lot of PGA Tour players, Max Homer, Rory McIlroy, a lot of live golfers like Dustin Johnson, put this in the bag because the ability to hit this golf ball far with this club and also land it very softly means you can really attack a lot of par fives. And this is why I think a lot of amateur golfers could utilize this because this club here, 21 degrees, my four iron is around the same, completely different ball flight. My four iron low, piercing, would be quite difficult to hold the green in certain situations. This, a little bit more versatile, a lot deeper of a face, and hopefully I can show that on this shot here. Ah, oh, it's hammered into the stratosphere, but it's heading slightly left. How about, how's that? All right, we're a little bit short with the wind, but if I just show you where I hit that there, I'm not particularly a very good fairy wood player, right out of the screws. So that was interesting because we've got a very different ball flight there. That's very, very high. Two very different ball flights with two very different shots. Let's go find that ball. We came up a little bit short there, but I'm not really too surprised because <laughs> I hit a high ball from 230 yards into a 30 mile an hour breeze. My setup currently is a driver, a mini driver, and then a seven wood. A lot of people I think would say to me, what on earth are you doing? But it provides me with a lot of different little options that I can do. And to be honest, that isn't the worst part of my game. The worst part is the putter, which gives me nightmares. But the seven wood has been a nice little addition so I can really attack some little, little par fives. And I think a lot of you guys would benefit from it too. Maybe not. Spin, spin, spin. Okay, okay, what's that? 10, 10 foot for birdie? We'll take that. Just turn three foot, Alex, and we could be okay. That was better than I thought. Let's start off this two hole challenge with a birdie. Oh, you absolute <laughs> <laughs> It was such a bad stroke. You see what, see what I did there? I did you went like this? I went up and went, Stop. Oh, whatever. <laughs> now, the seven wood has been around for some time. It's not a myth, but it is a little bit underrated. But it's not for everyone. That's why it hasn't really gone crazy over the last five years. It's just become a little bit more popular. Some people would prefer a five wood, a four iron, a two iron, dependent on your launch conditions or what courses you play. So for a linked course, you'd have to have you ask yourself the question, would this work? Or for a wet course, Again, ask yourself that question. This course today is dry but windy. This one is about 300 yards now and it's downwind, so hopefully we can get it a little bit further, maybe 260, 270. I'm gonna hit it a little bit harder. Just down the left. Yeah, again, 160 ball speed, high ball flight, really complimentary of this hole. And it's also not in the pond bunker, so we could have a chance at birdie. 
there is no shot here. It went about 275 yards, so we absolutely tonked it. But again, a windy day, maybe not a seven wood is the, is the club. Maybe a nice, easy, calm day like they had at the PGA Championship. I saw Max Homer hit a seven wood to like one foot. We're under a tree, bunker between us and the green. Uh, if this gets within 40 foot, please like and subscribe because this is nowhere near a shot where I should get it close. Um, I'm gonna go left. I think it's straight in the bunker. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Let me grab my club. That was actually quite a good shot, I think, but when you've got so many hazards to go through. Oh my god! Oh my god! We made it through! We made it through, look! I don't know how it happened. <laughs> but we somehow have, what? What's that? 10, ten foot for Birdie? All right. I don't know how that even happens. <laughs> Good that you kept that rolling as well. <laughs> Cause I don't think anyone would have believed that being like, oh yeah, I made it through, I made it through. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Two, oh, even par through two holes for a seven wood challenge. I think that's pretty good in conditions today. And this shows if you want something that can be versatile, that can launch high, that can launch low, that you can hit par fives in two off the tee. It really is quite a multifunctional club. Let me know if you guys have got a seven wood in the bag and let me know if you're going to try out a seven wood anytime soon. If you guys have enjoyed this video, smash that like button. And if you are new to golf magic, smash that subscribe button as well. Let me know what videos you want me to do with the seven wood because it's one of my favorite clubs in the bag. I think it could be yours too. I'll catch you guys at the next video.